They're going to trip back in time, back in the archives here, October 20th, 2018 at Seaway Valley Wrestling's inaugural event. We're going to run off a lot of internet buzz for this matchup, for this show. Seaway Valley Wrestling's here to make an impact in Cornwall and they're doing it good here with this big, big show. Dr. Bob here with Adam B. as always. And we're here for a great night of action. We're starting off with a four-way matchup between, let's see who we have here, Ryan Donovan, Jamie Dean, Irvine, Matt Angel, and Dino Benjamin. Adam, what do you, you got to say about this one? What do you got to say about Seaway Valley Wrestling? Well, this was the first event, Dr. Bob, at the NAV Center, the beautiful NAV Center in Cornwall, Ontario, as Dino Benjamin again takes a trifecta of super kicks from the faster Donovan, Matt Angel, and Irvine, but you can never count out Dino Benjamin. This guy's been a veteran for so many years. He knows how to think inside and outside of the ring, and he will definitely, where he'll lock in the speed and the agility of his two opponents, he'll make up for it with just a great stabbing. Hopefully it won't taste the taste of defeat. I think they're going Snap bears are plenty. Ryan Donovan's been really impressing Cornwall, really impressing all of Ontario wrestling. With some big wins, a lot of momentum, he's looking to keep it up here at Seaway Valley Wrestling's debut. I'll just jump in there, Bob. Uh, going to my point, Ryan Donovan tripped up by Dino oh! Benjamin. The Tope Suicida clears two of his opponents. But the fastest and the highest fly flyer of the bunch, Matt Angel's coming from the heavens. Matt Angel, that one left out. I mean, Johnny James Irvine opened up the door for the aerial and Matt Angel being a, you know, a good guest, a good guest, you know, coming into the door and, uh, you know, following the lead of the host. The tope knocks everyone out and Dino Benjamin, however, surprise Meteora goes for the pin now. May not have gotten all that Meteora, but still enough to take down Dino, but only good enough for two. Hey, you catch a flying knee 10 feet in the air. I'm pretty sure oh, that's absolutely. enough. <laughs> absolutely. I mean, I mean, it's still, you're not going to get the full impact, but it's still me with the face. Doc's under. Ooh, catches German Suplex right into a turn block and that's going to rock it. And Ryan Donovan, the resourcefulness of this guy, he's becoming such a, oh, I was going to say an impressive oh, all-arounder, but catches that hard on the tailbone. You know, Benjamin, you know, the most experienced man in this matchup and the more physically imposing wrestler using his strength advantage. Not a lot of times he has a strength advantage over his opposition. I don't know what the insults you're throwing Dino's way, but he deserves every single one of them. Jan Johnny James Irvine catches the back across the apron. And he looks like he's just out of commission right now, holding his head, holding his back. I guess uh, pretty much the smallest in stature of his competitors, but not quite the size differential he has in some of his other matches. I think he's got a pretty good chance in this one if he gets up with his speed. You know, I'm meaning to correct myself here, Bob. I was talking about the strength advantage going to Dino, but Matt Angel, he's a farm boy. Oh, yeah. He's a farm boy, so farm strength, you know, that, that's definitely up there in the echelons of strength. Always a treat, though, to see Matt Angel compete, whether it be in Ontario or Quebec. The crowd here at the now oh, center. down. He maintained by a great fatal four-way matchup. And Angel has been one of the most prolific wrestlers out of Quebec for the last few years. Spikes him, goes for the pin. That might be it, folks. Not enough. Most prolific wrestlers out of Quebec routinely put on top of a lot of critics' top ten, top five lists. He's just going to get the job done and comes here to Cornwall. Well, we got some representation from all over, Dr. Bob Ottawa's Dino Benjamin. Glenn Gary Alexandria's Ryan Donovan, Kingston's John James Irvine, and Quebec's Mad Angel. Irvine almost pulls it out. And Irvine just uses his body like a projectile sometimes, like a missile. Springboards are plenty, drop kicks, stomps, just flinging his body with reckless abandon. You've seen it out sometimes. Oh, jeez! <laughs> Todd Angel looked like almost in the back of the head, back of the neck. I call that a trip to the chiropractor. My goodness, do not pass go, do not collect $200. Yeesh. Look at Donovan lay across with that elbow. It was intense, Ryan Donovan. 
it's definitely a proven point here. The inaugural event at Seaway Valley Wrestling. You said Dr. Bob, very well known in this area, wants to kick things off by saying, hey, I'm a winner here in front of my people. There is a point in the future, I believe, that Ryan Donovan could easily become the people's champ. But he's got to score big wins. He's got to score them in matches quite like these. Sets him off a second. Angel catches him across the head. Oh, this is a bad position for both men. Both Matt three, Angel. All three, possibly. Oh, geez. Matt Angel, I've seen oh, this so many oh, times, oh. Dr. Bob, and never like this. Woo! Thought he might have been going for the falling angel, often instead for the double who can run off the top rope. But Dino there to Ooh. go. Oh, gee. Oh, oh, he landed on his feet. He landed on his feet. With a titanium neck, a titanium like neck of his. Ooh. Combination suplex bridge. Once again, fans, this is one file to a finish, not elimination. He calls himself Angel, but his offense is downright demonic. And Dr. Bob, you know, like, it's so important for a guy to start off in a new company with a win to set what their tempo is going to be in Seaway Valley Wrestling. wrestling. You are 100% correct. Momentum means everything. And especially when you're in the first match of a show like this. Ooh, catches him on the rebound cutter there. Cutter almost sat up enough to make it a stunner. Wow. Irvine might be wiry, but he's got a lot of oomph behind that elbow. Look at the chin of Donovan just coming back after these big shots. Puts him in the fireman's carry. Next he's a Samoan driver from this position, opting instead for a... Oh, toss him over! Donovan switching a lot of directions. I thought I was going to go for a Samoan driver than a Finley roll. Instead, just... Dumps out Irvine. People have been having trouble with that left apron a little bit. I see a lot of them clipping it. It's hard. I know. It's the first show, Dr. Bobby. They still got Maybe a new ring. Maybe, uh, <laughs> Maybe the dimensions have been out there. It's hard. It's all about testing things out. See what works. See what works. Oh! That works for that Donovan. Works. I give that down a 10 on 10. Made a big splash, which I realize now is saying that is the opposite of the 10 on 10, but yes. Sarah Shane Denis, the only man in the ring right now. All of them are just suffering on the outside. Donovan, though, has the advantage. Adam B might just spell the end of the matchup. He's got a lot of very maneuvers to come off the top with. Almost looking like Angel's trying to beg off Donovan. Not going to oh! work, but those knees were... Could have distracted Donovan enough with the uh, almost pleading with him. Gave him enough time to get the knees up. Now Angel in control. Discus Larry turns him inside out. All four of these men look like they've been in a human car crash. And the wreckage is a piling up here, folks. It's a matter now, Dr. Bob, of who can take advantage of this. Who can get to their feet first. That was a ferocious sequence of attacks. Right now it's looking like Angel getting up to his feet, but Dino not far behind. Chops and kicks. These four men might be known as at least three of them as flyers, but they got the strikes to back it up too, folks. A side DDT. Double stomp. We've seen a few of those so far. I've seen that from Matt Angel so many times. I like to use that SIE, punctuates it with a double stomp. Wow, oh, pain thriller. He catches on the back of the head, goes for the pin. That might be it, folks. Irvine just breaks it up. Donovan, a big fan of those ripcord maneuvers. We've seen him innovate with those for so many years. You can pull off a few different moves off of that as well, so you got to throw your opponent off of their game. Corner to corner, a lot of speed, a lot of momentum, but no. It's, it's a physical matchup, taking its toll on all the competitors. Looking at the lineup of these four, I expected nothing less out of them. Double blockbuster, is it enough for the pin? Dino busting out an old classic, upping it to add a uh, 
second opponent to take down on the way down, but let's see what Irvine's got here. Oh, oh, this is Doc Sunder catching that flying clothesline. Just curling his body again like a projectile. Woo, that was 2.9. Dr. Bob, if you listen to this crowd, they are just completely into this matchup, following it as it's going up and down and up and down. You know, it's just a ferocious pace. Ooh, I thought we were about to see three corners of death there. Oh, Falling Angel! The Donovan's still up there. I think they took their, their eyes off of him for a second. Oh, Lex to use that code breaker, Dr. Bob. Adino wisely rolls out of the way. Donovan's still got one more person in that ring. Going for perhaps the Donovan Destroyer. No. Angel reverses. Donovan reverses. One step ahead of Angel is Donovan. Oh! Donovan Destroyer right in the center of the ring. That's it. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Dr. Bob for Ryan Donovan. You may call him the Irish underdog, but with big, big wins like that, it's hard to see him as anything but an overdog. The way to start off this show, we got matches of plenty, a huge card for the rest of tonight. 